we did an ace of spades on the wrist of a cool client. We did that for his son with the date 430 in it. And that's for the day that they were both born, doing that they share the same birthday. Let's go over some tattoo aftercare. This is gonna be your Saniderm. You're gonna leave this on for the next seven days. Over those first couple days, you may see a little bit of blood, sweat, collagen, plasma, a little bit of excess ink and bodily fluids. That's all completely normal. That will all subside around day five and six. That will all set days, you may see a little bit of blood, sweat, collagen, plasma, a little bit of excess ink between the adhesive in your skin. Over those first couple days, you may see a little bit of blood, sweat, collagen, all right guys got any questions one of the last tattoos that i did this week was the ace of hearts she has a son and his initials spell out ace so her and the dad also got matching tattoos with the little uh, ace of heart cards hers was super simple though she just wanted just the ace the heart and the other the, the a the heart and the a uh, and she didn't want any of the lines around it or anything like that so it was kind of a super simplistic piece but it ended up being really pretty and kind of dainty well now that i'm 21 i can go to bars so we went to this bar called threes at threes, they have a punching machine. You can get a certain score and get a free drink, and of course, I just turned 21, I wanna get a free drink, so. I stood up and I took my swing, and I totally missed it. I tapped it with the side of my hand, and I got a one. And the bartender said, oh my god, I've never seen that. You have to take a picture with it, but I'll give you a free drink. And so I got a free drink, because I got a freaking one. <laughs> that was fun. So this week, I had another family member, but he's from Texas. He wanted me to do a lot of uh, crazy stuff, but we came down to this uh, design of a Japanese girl ripping uh, through the back of his arm. And I had another like spider uh, girl like breaking through, and uh, it was on the back of his arm, so that was really fun. I got to use just black, so there wasn't really that much shading in it, but you know, the saturation in it was definitely there, so that was a fun tattoo to do. This week I had a client that I had found on Snapchat. He came in to get a rose and his grandfather's birthday above the rose. So that was fun. I got to use a little gray wash with it. I got to use uh, thin liners just because it was a thin rose. So that was really fun. Roman numerals are always a little difficult to do just because you got to keep them exact, but it came out pretty nice in this tattoo, which was awesome. I also had the opportunity to be able to work on a friend of mine, Jimmy. He's this uh, short little thing. No, I'm just kidding, he's like 6'5". <laughs> but uh, anyway, so he had one tattoo on his shoulder that he was never happy with. So we, a few weeks ago, laid out his cover-up for that tattoo, which was a wolf head morphing into some mountain scene up onto his shoulder, and we used the mountain scene really to cover up what was there. When I talk about cover-ups, you know, it's they grow in size. So his initial tattoo was, you know, maybe six inches in diameter there. And then what we had to cover it with, I mean, is a good solid two feet of tattoo. It's pretty amazing to see the change and see, watch that just melt away and disappear within it. So this last week was a lot of fun. We got a put in a bunch of the white highlights. This was our third session on this. We had laid it out, done all of our black work. We came back, did a bunch of gray work. And then this particular time, we did a bunch of highlighting all throughout the whole thing. And now we're ready to move on to sort of the satellite background type stuff, the, the surrounding stuff, which is gonna really complete the scene. But it's a long process. Cover up is not an easy thing to do. And nine times out of 10, I'm gonna end up having to draw that on to somebody with markers, which is exactly what we did in this case. We used markers and also some liquid carbon to create a stencil and a design that we were going to ultimately be able to turn the corner with this cover up. Some other things I did in the shop this week, lots of piercings. I 
also did some piercings on some babies. The youngest that I do a piercing on as a baby is three months old. All they need is a birth certificate and mother parents ID. And you need a little bit of help, ring some bells. Yeah. Hi. Do we have, oh, will you grab that bell? Yes. What's happening to my ear? Ow! Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, we like the bell. We love that bell. Usually that only hurts for about one second. They cry for one second and then they're done and happy and they love it. <laughs> yeah, but they love them when they're done and they get past it. And I applaud you on being able to handle that. Thank you. Because it takes nerves of steel to be able to make that happen. Tuesday, I did quite the brows, two or three clients of brows, some cover-up brows, and then a touch-up on some microblading that I had previously done. And I believe Wednesday, I did some brows as well. Last week on Monday, I believe I tattooed. You know, he works up from the street from us, works at a bar called The Speakeasy, and I did his entire throat. Um, we Shout did out, the okay. sun disc wing, the, the winged wing sun, sun disc, disc. It's a symbol of Egypt, so it was really cool. We got the sun filled in with red and orange and shaded in the snakes a little bit, and I can't wait for him to come back. We'll do the wings in teal and red and have a little bit of gold in there. That'll be really awesome. <sighs> nah, but if you want to come here, come here for some real shit, some professionalism and some friendship and some family. That's right, you heard it here. So, let's talk more about this tattoo. How does it make you feel? Uh, like I want my wrist to be wet. I don't know. <laughs> Let me see it. Oh, looks like we're doing a basic white girl tattoo. Yep. White as fuck on the non style. Yeah. Yeah. Another walk-in came in this week, wanting flash fillers for a sleeve. She had some void spots in a sleeve that she'd been building with several different artists. So it was really fun being able to collaborate with other pieces from other artists around and uh, added my twist to it, so. Um, I did a ghost with Boner on my husband. <laughs> Um, just, I love getting the fun tattoos. You know, do something goofy for a change. It's nice to get a tattoo that's a little bit more offbeat and fun. It always just makes it, makes it that much more fun to do the tattoo. Finish off all those tattoos, I did a floral piece on a forearm. That piece I started over a year ago when I was just started as an apprentice here. So to see that come back in, touch it up, and finally finish it out was such an amazing feeling to really see that come to life and see how much change I've gone through in the past year. I have some super cool designs up for grabs if anyone wants them. I have one that I've been dying to do. It is a Grim Reaper with his mouth being kind of ripped open, has some flowers around it and some smoke coming out of his eyes. It looks super cool. I'm gonna do a lot of color behind it and make it look really cool and on fire. Definitely wanna do that one if you guys wanna check that one out. I also have a really cool little frog skeleton. Love to see you guys get those ones done. So if you want any of those, hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> no, I had you. You had me. You had me at hello. No. <laughs> Burpee victim number two. No, I had you. Go get them. You see the attacks that are coming from all angles here. There's no, no mercy. Tell me if you die. Oh. Yeah, she got me. She got me. She got me. Yeah. Alright. Good job. Good Ten job. hours later. Good job. And we did have to take Thursday off to work on some housework, landscaping, a little sprinkler leak. So that was fun. <laughs> a little sprinkler leak. We're not gonna talk about that. First rule of landscaping is you do not talk about landscaping. <laughs> Second rule of landscaping is you do not talk about landscaping. So anyway, okay. we made it happen. 
For now, we really just want to try to capture some of the volume of our shop and the growth of our shop. It's, it's pretty amazing watching these young artists start from nothing and then grow into something. And so we've seen a lot of that growth in these last few months. And uh, I hope you guys appreciate it as much as we do because this is how these journeys start and this is how all superstars are born, one little step at a time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for everybody that came in this week and got a tattoo. I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. That was a lot of fun. I'm super excited to do some more pieces this upcoming week. Anybody who needs a tattoo, come on in. We got availability for bookings right now. Come and get tattooed by me if you love really good art. So definitely be sure to keep updated on all of our pages on Instagram and our website at sharkiesparadise.com. That's all we got for you this week. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, keep an eye out for next week. Did lots of piercings as well, lots of brows, lots of tattoos. Come in, check out our jewelry, our huge selection, plethora of titanium jewelry, iron, <laughs> and nickel-free. It's gonna be your favorite. Come check us out. We do have a plethora of jewelry. Please come check it out. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. <laughs>